So it seems that the good boys at the Games Workshop design team have fetched even more fun new goodies for the Space Wolves. Let's tell a tale about these new Space Wolf upgrades. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today I thought we'd just do a quick follow up to the Space Wolf upgrade controversy that I made a video on last week, and honestly it attracted far more attention than I might have expected, racking up over 100,000 views. I guess it's quite a touchy topic just how much you want your Space Wolves looking like actual wolves in power armour, or to go down the more serious Space Vikings type route. In any case, it seems that today we've got some other Space Wolf upgrades leaks that also look kind of controversial, and I think that a lot of people are going to like them, but again I do feel like it's probably going to divide opinion in terms of the aesthetic. So apparently these upgrades are also going to be coming to the Space Wolves for the Horus Heresy. We've already seen some shoulder pads and the fun wolf helmets with the ears which Games Workshop showed off last week, but it looks like there's further upgrades coming to the Space Wolves for the Horus Heresy, some tail talismans and things, and some rather interesting themed war gear and other aesthetic bits. These haven't yet been officially announced by Games Workshop, apparently they were uploaded early and taken down, so thanks very much to Nico69 on Patreon for sending these in. If you do want to help support the channel, the Patreon page is linked down in the video description. It is really quite useful when community members can spot news like this. Nico says that they'll leak 40k news for me any time. In any case, like the helmets, I do kind of feel that they might have a bit of a 50-50 like and dislike by the community. Depends on whether your arm is going down a bit more of a serious Viking, Fenrika type theme, or more fun wolf boys mixed in with the army for theme. The parts appear to be a further upgrade kit coming from Games Workshop, more accessories plus weapons and theming bits. Always nice to see some new Space Wolf heresy. It seems in this leaks preview there have been 7 models shown off, and obviously the most striking thing about them is in addition to those nice wolf helmets with the ears that they had before. They also seem to have some tail talisman type bits, the wolf tail talisman already being a long established part of Space Wolf lore said to bring luck and good fortune, and also has some properties with warding off chaos apparently in the era of the Great Rift. Most often there tend to be small charms worn on the pauldrons or around the neck, though usually really quite a bit smaller than these ones, although that never really made that much sense to me, seeing as wolves are quite big, so you wouldn't expect their tails to be so small. From the shots that we can see here, you can't really see exactly where they attach, maybe into the belt or something, but I guess if you do want your armies to go a bit further down the wolves in space type theme, then this could be handy. Again, I'm sure these will be dividing opinions. I feel like maybe some older school Space Wolf players might prefer them as small little talismans mounted as normal, but I suppose you've got the Space Wolf Primaris upgrade sprue if you want some of those, and it certainly doesn't hurt to have more options like this. That was certainly one common trend in the comments on the last video. They might not exactly be to everyone's taste, but if you didn't want to use them for your Space Wolf's army and they didn't really fit the aesthetic, then you don't have to. That's far from all though, as there are a few other fun head swaps and weapon options and things. Always good to have a little bit more content on an upgrade sprue, I do always feel that they're kind of bad value, if they're adding nothing but a few alternate helmets or something, as Games Workshop I think do generally price them at least quite steeply for the resin or plastic involved. In any case, moving on to the other models that they've shown off, there's plenty more. The first one's maybe representing slightly more legionary line infantry, these ones showing off the bits that are good for the pack leaders, or giving your praetors a bit more personality. On this guy we've got a rather brutal looking viking axe, kind of similar to the ones that they had on the grey slayer kit for the heresy, a really quite nice runic shield, a medallion round the neck, and a rather ostentatious head crest. Certainly about the most space wolves model that I've ever seen, I think they've done fairly well to throw so much theme at this model, and strike the balance between wolves and vikings pretty finely. It's got some nice runes and brutal looking armour, and also a good going fluffy tail. As a fair few of you corrected me in the last video, it's not exactly as if Space Wolves and the Heresy didn't have any wolf theming at all, while they might err a little bit further towards being the Emperor's Savage Executioners, but they've always had quite a lot of wolf tropes thrown in, apparently there's passages where they call each other's pups, and aren't afraid of having a good time and letting their hair down as well. They've got a Femrisian beer called Miord, which apparently is fatal to normal humans, but is enough to get a Space Marine drunk, and then presumably what goes on in the Fang stays in the Fang. Moving on, we've also got this guy in a wolf pelt mask, he certainly feels like a bit more of a savage and grizzled veteran of the Space Wolves, and kind of reminds me of those leather viking type masks that a few of the other heresy models wear. While I feel like a lot of the rest of the helms look a bit more stylized and maybe even a bit friendlier, this guy certainly looks pretty savage and angry. To be honest I feel like you could use that part in combination with the current wolfing kit, who wouldn't want essentially a space marine werewolf wearing a wolf mask, that's very much going to double down on the theming. 
I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure exactly how much the Heresy era Space Marines were affected by the Curse of the Wolfen, though certainly in the current era of 40k, the Canis Helix can cause the Space Wolves to become degenerate, but I think for the most part the genetic flaws of the Space Marines were kept in check a little bit more in the time of the Great Crusade. Next up, we've got another alternate melee weapon and a bolt pistol of some sort in that hand. Really quite a dynamic pose on this one. I think that the helm is a variant that we'd not seen before. A great big barbed whip to bring the pain to the enemies of the Emperor. I think that this one might have an alternate chest plate as well. Finally, we've got a few more interesting combat weapons. Another variant helm on this guy again. And this guy's armed with a pair of lightning claws. I guess seeing as it's the Space Wolf chapter, I guess they'd technically be frost claws. I think it's always interesting to see the differences between the kit in 40k and the kit in Heresy, which generally tends to have a bit more of a brutal and practical type feel. I feel like the Xenos and Heretics certainly wouldn't want to fall into the claws of this guy. So here's our squad of Space Wolves gathered together, though I guess seeing as it's Space Wolves it's more likely to be called a pack or a convention. Quite a finely detailed lot, plenty of blingy gear there. They're not exactly looking like a poor patrol of Space Wolves. I'll leave it down to you guys as to whether or not you think that Games Workshop got it right on this one. In hindsight, maybe it was a little bit too harsh on the helmets. Perhaps like with this gear, if it was used in moderation and scattered throughout an army, it probably would look fairly in proportion. Maybe fielding them en masse in entire squads of them would be a bit better for things like veteran squads, or maybe for your wolfiest characters around. Let me know if you'd be thinking about picking this up, and whether you'd be using it just for kitbashing a few characters and things, and doing something like representing that new primary successor chapter from that Wolf Time novel. Kind of interesting that in contemporary 40k, Space Wars have actually started to get successors now. I never expected them to get one with pink heraldry though. So anyway, let me know what you think of the new Space Wolf upgrades. Do you like them as much as the helmets? And do you think that now we've got the full upgrade set out, it makes the helmets look better or more restrained by comparison? If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to Auspex Tactics. I will try and cover Games Workshop's news and rumours as often as possible. I do like to cover the 40k news, but I think sometimes it's also important to cover things that definitely aren't the 40k news. I suspect that we might revert back to more serious 40k tactics stuff next time. In any case, if you've enjoyed the video, I would just like to quickly mention that Auspex Tactics does have a Patreon page. And that's how I can afford to spend quite so much time creating rubbish, and occasionally also less dreadful 40k content. If you've been enjoying these videos much, or even too much, then feel free to check out the Patreon page down in the video description, as it is what allows me to keep this stuff coming quite so regularly. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next to the channel, and regular entry to the monthly prize giveaways, with a chance to win some big model kits each month. You'll also be the first to hear about any news of the upcoming Auspex Tactics OnlyFans page. If any of that's of interest to you, then feel free to check out the link down in the video description. But otherwise, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.